Demographics Now, brought to you by Gale, delivers the data you need to make sound business decisions. With Demographics Now, you can analyze the demographic and market potential of any geography in the United States. The Advanced Mapping Tool offers functionality to graphically display your analysis and business intelligence. So, whether you enter into the Mapping Tool from the Demographics Now homepage or you've navigated to the Map tab from another path, you can view a series of variables from one or more geographic locations, up to a maximum of 16. At any point, if you wish to edit your geography, simply use the Geography Selection box in the top left corner. As a tip, when using the mapping functionality, you may elect to have the mapping tools visible, or you may decide to close them and open them periodically. You can do this by clicking on the X in the upper right-hand corner of the Mapping Toolbox. In this tutorial, we will cover three areas, creating a geography selection from the map, creating map annotations, and thematic mapping. Let's start with how to create a geography selection from the map. First, let's type Ann Arbor, Michigan in the Geography Selection box. Note, there are three boxes immediately below the default set drop-down selector. Hover your mouse over each one, and you will see they provide you with the option of freeform, square, or ellipse in terms of how you want to capture a geography. In this example, we are going to create a geography that is bounded by highways, so we click on the freeform option and then select a starting point on the map. We then click each point on the map wherever the highway changes direction until we circle back to the starting point. We will double click that point to complete the selection. Once we do that, a box pops up that allows you to name the geography selection. In this case, we will name it Ann Arbor Highway. You can change the name or the boundary by clicking on the boxes to the right of your newly created selection as it appears within the mapping tools. To make this selection your geography, click on it and then click on Make Geography. We will highlight this one. Press the Shift key on our keyboard and select Make Geography to add it to our geography list. Let's try another one by clicking on Ellipse and drawing this next to the one we just created. We will name it AA Neighborhood. We will highlight this one. Press the Shift key on our keyboard and select Make Geography to add it to our geography list. You can create up to 16 custom geographies in this manner. Let's now use the Map Annotation feature to create points on the map. Select Map Annotations from the Mapping Tools and then click on Add Annotation. Notice a pop-up box appears to instruct us to click on the map where we want the annotation to appear. When we do that, the map annotation box appears which allows us to name it, describe it, select textiles, and whether we only want a label to show when we hover over that point. Let's add a name, Sarah's House and add the description, the house where Sarah lives. We will leave the text style alone, but click on the box which says only show label when we hover over it. 
When we hover over the annotation, the label appears. The description appears when we click on it. You can also create multiple annotation points and group them into sets by clicking on the default set drop-down menu. You can then turn each set on or off in the mapping tools for viewing as you prefer. After you create the annotation, you can always edit it later by clicking on the box to the right of that annotation in the Mapping Tools box. Our last topic is thematic mapping. For thematic mapping, the geography you select affects the choices you have in the thematic controls box for the geography. In this case, it determines how detailed the coloring on the map will be. Note, by clicking on the drop-down button, you can select by census block groups, tracks, or other geographies. Also, within thematic controls, you can select the type of variable you want the map to thematically color, as well as picking your choice of color. We will leave the color as is, and since we previously selected a variable, we will simply demonstrate how this works by clicking on the thematic layer box in the mapping tools. You can change the variable and select one of hundreds available by selecting more variables from the drop-down menu in the thematic controls box. One final point on the mapping tools. You can always turn labels on or off by clicking on the label icons next to those items that have them. Once you've designed your map as you like, you have the exporting options available to you in order to save your work for future reference. Using the export button in the mapping options box, you can give your map a title, choose a download format, either PDF or Word, in addition to changing your print settings, such as the paper size, orientation, or whether or not to include the legend. So remember, whether you enter into the mapping tool from the Demographics Now homepage or you've navigated to the map tab from another path, you can view your results on a visually engaging map at any point in the research by utilizing the maps tab.